what's going on guys welcome to coding privacy and in this video i'm going to show you how to use the check button widget so check button widget are useful when you want when the user want to select multiple values um let's uh, for an example let's say there's a quiz game that we have made so if there is a question and then there are more than one answers possible we create that check box sign right so you can tick more than one answers and then get the value so that is what we're going to implement today and let's start as soon as possible right so check um creating check button is one of the easiest task in tinker as you might be knowing because all the other widgets are also created using the same way so tk dot check button okay so tk dot check button and then what you do is root which is the first parameter by default in our series and then we write text is equal to this is the check button right and then let's just um place it uh, like this and check okay so i run it and then let's see so this is the check button that we have made and uh, when i click on it it gets selected when i click it again it gets this selected okay so this is how you can create the check button but then how you can use it like um when you check it and then you have a button at the bottom let's say there's a button the button says submit and then when you click on a button um you you want to print that if i checked it or not right so that is what comes in the usage of check button so that is what we're going to do today so let's start it so what we're going to do is let's imagine there's a question at the top and then there are three check buttons um so those three are the options and then whenever you click check the options and then you finally click on a submit button and then in the bottom it shows which options are selected and which are not selected make sense let's get started so first of all let's say label okay root text is equal to the question would be what is the name of this youtube channel okay as simple as that and then we are going to use the place manager and as you can see in most of our tutorials before we have uh, used the geometry as 300 cross 150 but in this one it's 200 because we might need more space so let's see how it goes x is equal to 80 and then y is equal to 20 i'm not seeing it right now because i just want to make a guess and then uh, check one i would say tk dot check button and then do text is equal to um coding space privacy and then check one dot place um so it will come below it right so y is equal to 40 and then i'm just going to copy it and then oops again paste it so three times i pasted it and then this check one becomes check two and then check three we need so what we can do is we can definitely um uh use the same variable again and again so let's say if i use check one again and again it is definitely going to work in tinker so it it will show the gui but when you when you check it and then you want to check if the specific widget has done something like you want to check the action of a specific widget then that thing will not be possible because the same variable is containing three different widgets so the last one the last widget would be having the so i'm going to show you. let's say this check one this is the check one okay so now check one variable is having the properties of this button um this check button because all both of these are overwritten by the last one right so then you cannot check the action of each and every widget so for that purpose what you need to do is you need to create different variables every time so once you store it in a different variable you can get this you can get the specific property of a specific widget make sense so first text is coding privacy let's say random channel and the third one i put as like this right so there is no space and then there is space and then coding privacy right so and then what i want is a button that said submit okay 
so btn let's say submit button tk dot button make sure the variables are understandable like self explanatory because in tkinter we need to create lot and lots of variables so for that reason it should be self explanatory otherwise you're gonna get confused like which what is what right so this is question label check one check two check three and then submit button which says so the first argument is root and then text is equal to submit and uh, what else nothing else submit button dot place x is equal to 100 and, um now 80 oops so this is 20 is 40 and then i'll put this as 60 i'll put this as 80 and then i'll give it 30 space instead of 20 y is equal to 110 so i guess we're done we have created this thing let's check okay so the first and foremost i foremost i i will have to uh, keep it left a little bit so what i'll do is uh, i'll i'll make it 40 okay so this is 40 and then this is 40 and then this is 40 and then this is 40 let's run it again okay so this looks good what is the name of this youtube channel you can you can tick on more than one boxes and now what we want to do is le that let's suppose i have ticked on this one and then this one right so first and third is ticked so it should show me that the first one is ticked the second one is not and the third one is yes right so that is what we are going to do but that but we want to do it on the press of a button right so command is equal to get values right we have done this thing before and now we are going to create the get values function without any parameters in it and uh, so what do we need to do we need to get the values so how do we get the values and we can do it using the variables take into variables that we have already seen one of them is string variable and the other one is integer variable so for now we only need the integer variable so what we do is where one is equal to tk dot integer variable okay where two is because there are three check buttons and it's a multiple choice uh, it's a it's a check button right so more than one values can be possible so each each check button needs a different variable right so where three is equal to tk dot integer variable i have created three variables and then i need to attach each of them which each of the check boxes let's say text variable is equal to where one okay text variable is equal to where two and then copy this one and then paste and say three okay so three of the text variables now as we have already seen in the last videos if you want to get the values of the um tick into variables we just use the variable name dot get um but we also want to print it right so we cannot just get it we want to print it so for that let's create three different labels to show three different value um, variable values so label one we'll say response one okay is equal to tk dot label and then root and then let's let's not keep any text and then response one dot place x is equal to definitely 40 and y is equal to so 100 uh, we have almost reached till 110 so i'll start from 140 and then i'll copy this thing paste it three times and then change the name of the variables a bit okay so there are three response uh, the response labels that we have created now what we want to do is we need to configure the text of this response when i click on this button right so what what, what should happen let's see when i click on this button it goes to this function and here i need to change the well here first what i need to do is i need to get the value of the variables these variables variable one variable two and variable three which have the answers are the 
check button checked or not checked so these answers are there in this text variables that is what we want to fetch it so we fetch it using the variable name dot get method and then after fetching it what we do is we place it in these labels so we have already seen how to change the widget properties after we have already created it so we can change it using variable name dot config right so we're going to use two functions here variable dot get and widget dot config okay let's do that and then you'll get more idea about it so how um the response one dot config text is equal to so here i want the text here i want the response of the check button right so um as you can see so this one will come over here where one dot get right so this is how it's done but remember one thing guys this is a string and our variable is of integer type so what we need to do is we need to convert it into string so we can convert it into string by covering it with str function right so str is a function that converts any text into a string okay whether it's an integer or a text if it's a text it remains the same so where one dot get we get the value of the check button is it checked or not so it will give values in the form of one or zero because it's an integer so if i tick tick it tick it it says one and then if i do not tick it it says zero okay and then i convert it into a string and then i put it into response one label using the config function and i do the same thing for others okay where two and where three so this is how we can change the label text and then this is how we can get the variable text variable value which is the check button as associated with the variable right pretty much done over here i think we should check right now so let's check oops why is it zero why is it zero so if i remove this one okay let's say variable here and then let's try it again okay so it's a variable not a text variable i must have made a mistake over here so it's a variable and then when i run it again and then i so our application is almost ready i'm just going to try it for the first time so i may make a mistake okay but let's try so when i check it and then i press on submit it says zero check on the second one it doesn't do anything um oh okay because the y values are overlapping so this is 140 160 and 180 now so it's it's below one another okay so now when i click on this one and i say submit so you can see that the first value says one and the two of these says zero because these are not not checked when i check the second one i say submit the second one is one now when i say third one and then press submit the third one is one now okay so this is how you can uh, use check button to get values more than one values of the same question right so but let's let's um let's say I, what i want to get is i don't want to get one i want to get some different value which is not one but it's an integer but it's not one like let's say i want to get zero if the if the if i check it should be zero and if i do not it should be one okay so you can do that using on value function and off value function so on value means if i click on that button click on check button what it should be so it should be zero right and then off value so if i do not click on it like do not check it it should be one right so it's it's totally opposite of what we what we were doing right now what is default actually so now when i run it so this is the reason um so why is it already checked because it will be checked if the value is one and the off value is one by default so it will be checked okay so now when i click on submit it is zero but when i do not submit it, it it's one this is one and this is one the reason it is already checked is that the default values for these um, variables is zero 
so if I if I write value is equal to one over here value is equal to so now the default values of this variable is one so it will be by default off because the off value is equal to one and when I click on it so I check it and it will be zero okay um, let's try it okay so now we can see that the values of this um, buttons are not checked so when I click on this one I get 0 1 1 totally opposite of what we were getting before 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 sounds cool right but now I have another condition what if I want to get the text when I click on it like when I check on it I want this on value to be a text and not a number right so that can be done if I put a string variable over here and then I remove this one so that can be done and then let's say the on value is random channel and the off value is no input okay sounds good so now when I run this thing I can see the two of this working perfectly but this is already checked so guess what the problem is with the default values of the variable because the default values of the variable makes it already checked okay I don't know what the default values of the variables are I have, not, I, have, I have never seen it but the values which are default are not going to work properly so what you need to do is you need to put the value of the off value so you put the off value over here and then let's try it okay so now it's working properly when I click on submit it says one no input and one one because the default value over here is one and uh, when I check on these two it gets zero right and now when I check on this one it gets random channel so I get a string over here I get a number over here whatever I want right so if you want a number if you want a string if you want the on value to be different than the default value the off value to be different than the default value everything you can do using these options on value off value and then the integer variable and string variable which are already provided sounds good guys so this is all about check button for now what you have seen till now is um we have seen that when i click on these buttons i can see these responses but what we haven't seen is that um let's say i click on submit button and then i want to check is the answer correct or not so so let's say if the first and third option is pressed then the answer should be correct otherwise not so that is what we are going to do in the next video and then we are going to print that yes it is a correct answer or no it is a wrong answer so that things we are going to tackle in the next video so till then this is all for this video guys if you enjoy it hit on the like button and subscribe for more like this my name is Harsh Patel I'm from codingprivacy.com see you in the next one